Blake Staker here with uh, Westside Medical. Today we're going to talk about uh, low back physics. Uh, today we're going to talk about moment. What moment is, it's a force that wants to cause a bend to something. So in the low back how it works is, is when you hold this ball right through here, my spine is wanting to bend by the force this ball generates. And so how it works is, is the further the ball out is from the spine, the more force that goes to the low back. An equation for a moment is force times distance. So pretty much the heavier the ball is here, the more it's going to want to bend my spine. As well as if you take a ball that weighs the same and you move it farther away, a farther distance from your body, it's going to cause more of a bending force. And so how your body reacts to that is you have muscles here in the spine, the deep erectors, that keep your spine straight as that force wants to cause it to bend. And so how that works is, is the further the muscles are away from the spine, the more force they can withstand. So what that means is, is you want to have hypertrophy in these muscles, or otherwise you want the muscles to be, to be big and strong, because the bigger the muscle, the further away it is from the spine, and it gives it more of a leverage or mechanical advantage to stop the shearing forces when you, when you pick something up. So a lot of times you hear somebody, they, they pick something up, like their low back goes. Well, pretty much what happened was that weight was too heavy for these low back muscles to, to, to stabilize it. So if you look at right through here, this is what we're talking about. This is a moment, force times distance. So the, the longer the distance here, the further this is out from here, the more bend is going to be in the lumbar spine. And we look, about, look at the muscle here, let's just say this here is the, the low back anatomy, this is the front of the vertebra, this is the back. And the muscle that we're talking about, the deep erector or the multifidus muscle, it runs from here or here all the way up these different segments. And so if you look at this, this illustration, the further away the muscle is, the more moment it can withstand. So the further away the muscle belly is from the spine, the more it can stabilize and prevent the, the, the shearing here. And so when we look at the attachment of the deep erectors, like we said, they attach here and they run all up and down this spine. This, the way they, they, they delay is like the, the, the range of motion they work is, is flexion extension. So if you want to cause muscle growth, you want to put those multifidi or the deep erectors to the full range of motion. So in our office here, we like to use the reverse hyper because what it does is it causes this posterior hip rotation so this posterior hip rotation, it takes the, the deep erectors to that full range of motion and then back up and that's going to allow for the, the most muscle growth. So let me demonstrate here. Have somebody hop up here, pivot point right here on the hips. I see here, you have the posterior hip rotation, it stretches out all the deep erectors muscles and then you lift your hips up like that to contract. So this here is the range of motion, just like this. So in our office, we do probably about three sets of 10 or 15 to get the maximum amount of, of volume on there to cause the muscles to grow.